The Godcast with Josh Fritz, where the scripture is honored, the lost are warned, the saints are fortified, false teachers are exposed, and the Lord Jesus Christ is glorified. Here's your host, Josh Fritz. Good afternoon. It is September 20th, 2024. It is 2.12 p.m. on the East Coast. And now I have the uh, update here on Steve Lawson and the fallout from his, um, uh, the announcement from Trinity Bible Church in Dallas of removing him from ministry. One Passion, which, uh, .org, is his other subsidiary uh, ministry in which that he is uh, has released a statement here. I'm reading from their website, and what I'll do is I will screenshot this, and it'll be right uh, up on the screen as soon as I finish reading it here. I'll have it in front of you to read on the video. It says here from One Passion Public Statement, the board of One Passion Ministries mournfully announces that just recently Stephen J. Lawson confessed to the board that he has had an inappropriate relationship with a woman, a sin that has disqualified him from ministry. In response, Steve has resigned from all his duties at One Passion Ministries. All scheduled events and engagements have been canceled. And a little bit more insight here. Uh, Steve has confessed and regrets the damage he has caused to his family, the church, the reputation of One One Passion Ministries, and most of all, Jesus Christ. We are saddened for the glory of Christ in this matter. The truth of the gospel will continue to go out to the lost world as it is empowered by the Holy Spirit and not by men. It is a reminder that we have been warned of the craftiness of the enemy. Be sober-minded, be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. 1 Peter 5.8 And then they they list here um, uh, adjustments to giving to the ministry or to contact One Passion to send them an email. I'll read you their email address. If you want to send an email to One Passion for more questions or for more information, it's contact at onepassionministries.org. That's contact at onepassionministries.org. Again, that's an update here on the Steve Lawson story of him being removed from the pulpit at Trinity Bible Church in Dallas, and now his uh, resignation uh, from One Passion Ministries. And uh, that is the update for now. Please continue to pray for Steve Lawson's wife, pray for his family, pray for all of those involved, and please Uh, As was mentioned in many videos, and I've mentioned it too, let's make sure our hearts are right before the Lord and confess sin and uh, to know that we can be forgiven and uh, to know that it's, it's not an excuse to continue on in sin. We are not to continue on in sin. We are to confess and run from it and recognize that Christ has defeated sin and death at the cross and all our hope is in him. He is faithful and just to forgive us from all unrighteousness. But we need to understand, we need to confess our sin and to be honest, to agree with God and to know that uh, we renounce our sin and we run from it. Never to be involved in it again and to have true fruits of repentance and keeping with that, uh, we are to uh, maintain as the Lord has blessed us with the position we have in, in before him, we've been justified. We are to work out our salvation with fear and trembling and our sanctification as well. With that, I'll be back for more updates, I'm sure, on this whole story. Continue to pray for those involved and uh, most importantly, um, examine our own hearts and examine our own lives. With that, God bless you guys. I'll see you next time here on the Godcast. Thanks for listening. 
May God bless you. And now to him who is able to keep you from stumbling and to present you blameless before the presence of his glory with great joy to the only God, our Savior, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, be glory, majesty, dominion, and authority before all time and now and forever. Amen. Amen.